guys, so today we're going to be doing subtraction using the part part whole model. It's quite similar to addition. So with addition you're finding the two parts and then you're adding them together to find the whole. With subtraction they give you the whole number first and then you need to break it into one part and you're taking one part away to find out how much you have left on the other part. So you've got the whole number, you take one part away and it tells you how many you have left for the other part. I'm going to model how to do this. I hope you enjoy. So here is a part part whole model. In subtraction we are given the whole number and we are asked to subtract a part. The answer would be the other part. Let's show an example. Here we have five balloons, so five is our whole number. But what if two of those balloons popped? One of the parts would be two, so it would be five subtract two. How many balloons do we have left? Three, so three must be my other answer. Let's see this written down. Five subtract two equals three. We can also switch the parts around. 5 subtract 3 equals 2. I'm going to show you how to do subtraction using the part part whole model. So with subtraction, I like to put the whole number in because we know the whole number. And the whole number goes here. So how many do we need to put in for the whole number? 11. Let's go. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now we have 11, so we know that when we add them all together, we have 11. And we have one of the parts as well. So one of the parts is 4. So part of this whole number is going to be 4. So I'm going to move one of my parts to this part. It doesn't matter which one I put it to, but I'm putting it over here, which means that this part must be my other. Let's count how many we have left in the other part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four, eleven, take away four equals seven. Now, want to see something cool? If I were to put all of these back in here for my whole number and I was to change this around and I was to change this to a 7. Let's see if we'd get the same number. 11 take away 7. Let's put one of my parts in which is 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 11 take away 7 and the other part is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 11 take away 7 equals 4. So it doesn't really matter where the part is, you can switch it around. It could be 11 take away 4 equals 7 or 11 take away 7 equals 4. Let's have another go. Okay, 9 take away 1. So again, we have my whole number and we have one part. So let's pop this down. In my whole number, I have nine. Now I've got nine. You do not put any more loose parts on here. This is my whole number. The amount I have in my whole number is the only amount of loose parts I need. Do not put any more in, okay? You are just going to divide your whole number into its parts. And we already know one part. So nine take away one. One of my parts is one. So let's put one down there. That must mean that all of these go into this part. Should we count what my answer is? One, two, three, four, five, no you don't, six, seven, eight. So one of my answer is eight. 9 take away 1 equals 8. This time I'm going to do something wrong and I want you to tell me what I did wrong.
okay 10 take away five so I have 10 in the middle and again before I stop I count make sure I have 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect I've got 10 in the middle how many do I have in my part five okay perfect five one two three four five okay um so i've got five in this part and then i've got my whole number so i guess um this needs to go in that part hmm let's put them together one ooh, one two two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten take away five equals ten that doesn't seem right because I had ten and I was supposed to take them away I had ten and I was supposed to take five away what did I do wrong? Oh, that's right. I added five from my pot. I didn't take it from my whole number. Silly me. Ah, oh, okay, I'll cross that out. So I have 10 here, and instead of taking my five from here, I took it from here. No, my five is taken from my whole number. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that seems right. Let's see how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five. Five, so 10 take away five equals five. Great work. And also, this uses our number bonds to 10 because we know that two fives make 10. Or 10 take away five equals five. Great work guys, now it's your turn to have a go.